Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 187 and we're going to be going over the draggable CAPTCHA module. Before we get started, I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also make sure to head on over to codekarate.com, check out all of the other posts that we have going on and look at the ebook and let us know what you think and if you have anything that you want to learn that we aren't currently covering. Before we get started with the draggable CAPTCHA module, you may want to look at episode number 100, or excuse me, episode number 70 where we cover the CAPTCHA module because the CAPTCHA module is a requirement of the draggable CAPTCHA module. So we'll go over briefly what the CAPTCHA module is here, but if you want a little more in-depth coverage, you might want to watch that video. So what is the draggable CAPTCHA module? Well, it's simply a nicer version of the CAPTCHA, which if you know is simply or typically where you type in the characters and sometimes it's hard to read what those characters are. This draggable CAPTCHA allows you to drag uh, an image from one from the left side over to the right side to select the correct image and based on that it tells that you are basically a human and not a bot. So we're going to go ahead and just see this in action. So we're going to head on over to our development site and ensure that we have the CAPTCHA and the draggable CAPTCHA module installed and working. As you can see we have the CAPTCHA module on and the draggable CAPTCHA module on. And we can click any of these configure buttons they bring you to the same page. And this is where you actually set up which forms you want the CAPTCHA module to display on. So we select the default challenge type and then we select the forms that we want the challenge type to show up on. And there's a couple different options here that we can go through and we're not going to go through all of these but you may want to actually see what this is going to do before you actually try it out. So you can click on this examples sub tab up here and here it shows you the math question captcha which is the default or it now shows the challenge draggable captchas there's the mini and there's the regular size. So as you can see, if you drag it over, it turns green if you get it right. If you get it wrong, it turns red. And this mini version does the same thing. So let's go ahead and just test out by changing the default challenge type to draggable captcha. And we're just going to turn on the user login to use draggable captcha as well just to show how it works and again you can go to the episode 70 and see exactly what all these settings do in a little more detail so let's go ahead and we click save so I am going to grab the URL here and open up a new window And you'll see if I go to the slash user page because it's only on this specific form that the CAPTCHA is showing up. So in order to log in I also have to complete the CAPTCHA. So if I try to log in without filling in the CAPTCHA it's going to tell me I need to go ahead and fill that in. If I fill it in incorrectly, it's not going to let me log in. But if I fill it in correctly, then it will let me submit the form. And you may not want to do this, obviously, with the login form, but with the password reset form or any of the other forms that you think are vulnerable to bots, you can use this CAPTCHA as it's a nicer, easier to use CAPTCHA than just the standard one. It does have a warning that it says um, it's probably not the most suitable for highly secure forms because it's not as secure as some of the other captures out there, but it is a good kind of first line of defense. So go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you think. Again, check out CodeKarate.com, follow me on Twitter at SMThomas3, and we'll see you next time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. Goodbye.